Hey everybody, it's Jamie from the Marvel Database. Back at you one more time for episode 22. Today we're talking about The Flash, specifically the mid-season finale. A lot happened and some new characters were sort of introduced. We saw them coming, specifically Firestorm, but there's a lot going on. Um, we're actually joined by a new sort of member of our crew here. Uh, Justice, why don't you give us a, a hello, quick hello? Hi. <laughs> Excellent. So, uh, uh, let's just jump right into it. We want to talk about um, all the interesting things. We still don't know a lot. I would argue that this episode asked a lot or posed a lot more questions than it answered for us, as any good mid-season finale will do. But uh, Billy, why don't you? You were talking just a little bit earlier about uh, Firestorm and the introduction of um, Ronnie Raymond, and and uh, so why don't you start there? Go ahead. I was so pumped about this. I thought for a long time, Firestorm is not a character I like. Firestorm, for me, has always been, like, one of the most boring upper echelon characters at DC. But they, they made him so cool. I was expecting to just be kind of bored the entire time. But when he started, they actually made the, like, flaming head thing amazing and not just look stupid and dumb, which I was very surprised by. Uh, I love also that we're getting, like, a schizophrenic homeless Firestorm. That is a much better take on the character than any I have seen previously. Um, one thing I thought was really interesting was, uh, and we, we have teased like Martin Stein has been hired to be on the show later, but uh, a lot of Firestorm's first appearance revolves around him saying, I'm not Ronnie, which could be like him like trying to distance himself from his previous life, or is he already merged with Martin Stein in some way? I, think I I hadn't considered that particular angle, but I sort of assumed it would be later he'd like get Martin Stein, and that would be the only way he'd be like okay. Uh, that but makes sense. I I I don't know. That sounds more interesting if they're like we got to make Ronnie better, and then they do, and then he becomes two dudes. That would that would be fun. I'd like that. What if what if he's already merged? But with a homeless guy instead. Ooh! <laughs> like I'm gonna take homeless guy's place, and you'll be okay. And I Frank really Emo hope that's Ronnie's what it is. Like, this they're, guy they're... is crazy. <laughs> also, uh, can we talk about what's the deal with uh, with Caitlin and Cisco? Where Cisco is like, like, Caitlin, Ronnie is dead, and you have to accept that he died. He was vaporized in the accelerator that gave everybody unpredictable superpowers by changing their molecular structure. There's no way he's coming back. Like that. That's where Cisco draws the hard line on science. All right. So what? We had lots of other things that went down in that episode. Let's let's not skip the obvious. What about Barry's interaction with the man in the yellow suit? That really excited me because like. I don't know why it really excited me, but I mean, I've been looking forward to it ever since the first episode when I was so excited to first see the yellow suit, where I was all like, oh my god, they're doing the exact thing that I want them to do, and then they did that thing, and now, finally, we get to see the payoff of that, and it's like, fist in the face, reverse flash in your face. Fist. I was surprised. I was surprised that we got to the reverse flash so quickly in the season. I was expecting them to wait until like the season finale, at least for this. Yeah, it seemed like they were going with a pretty similar structure to uh, Arrow season one, where the mid-season finale of that they had the first face-off with uh, Merlin, and Merlin kicked Ollie's ass in that episode, and then for the finale they had the big actual fight. So I assume the ser the season finale is going to be. You know, the big showdown where all of Central City is in danger against that Reverse Flash, which would be I'm I want to see that. Also, I love the way they handled that reveal. That this show has been really strong about doing its like crazy name reveals lately, and starting out like the opposite Flash line was kind of cheesy, but when Reverse Flash does that thing where he's like I'm not the Flash, I'm the Reverse, that was I was like ah! it's my like holy shit moment. <laughs> Kyle, what do you think? I kind of wanted to talk about like how Cisco saw when they were fighting that there was like a red and a you know yellow lightning, and it was like the opposite, like the the yellow flash put off the red lightning, and so now there's this kind of idea that maybe there was a second uh, speedster character at the murder of Flash's mom, and I thought that was kind of an interesting uh, big reveal there that maybe you know maybe Flash was there, maybe a different you know superhero was there trying to prevent it, or you know. Accomplice or something. I thought that was really interesting. Yeah, for sure. 
It, it feels like like the whole time Eddie Thawne, obviously because he has the last name Thawne, like Professor Zoom does in the comics. Plus. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what I mean. It seems like they're leading him down that path, but he's been. I I keep like wanting to hate Eddie Thawne because he's. <laughs> clearly supposed to be, like, a future villain by his name, and he's dating the protagonist's girl that he likes. But Eddie is such a nice guy. He's just, he I want to hate him, but he's so sweet. So we've talked a little bit about um, uh, Eddie and Iris's relationship. We've talked about Firestorm. We've talked a little bit. Uh, but you know what we actually haven't talked about? We haven't talked about um, Dr. Harrison Moss. We actually haven't talked about how our feelings changed on the, the character after this episode. Obviously, some reveals. Um, I'm going to toss it up there. What do you guys think? Did you change your opinion this episode? Um, I Honestly, even after that little post-credits or pre-credits reveal with him with the suit, I, just, I still have no idea where I stand on that guy. Good guy, bad guy. I don't know. I'm just excited to see. Obviously, he's like a bad dude because he like stabs dudes in the stomach. But you know, uh, maybe he had a good reason. That guy was a jerk. Uh, but no, I'm just excited to see where this all goes. I love that this show has been teasing us with Harrison Wells as Reverse Flash. It's felt like a very obvious twist this entire time. Not even twist because they've been foreshadowing it so heavily. But then at the, in this episode. Uh, they spent the entire time... By the end of it, they made that obvious twist feel like a huge surprise to me, where they showed him holding the suit, and I still have no idea what's going on. I'm still filled with and consumed by doubt. It's really interesting to me the way that they started out with, like... They, they started out, like, in the second episode. They revealed that he... Was somehow had knowledge of the future, or that he, and he had his best interests were, or I mean, he had the Flash's best interests in mind, maybe, and <laughs> like because he's killing people so that the Flash can survive. What does this mean? Clearly, the Flash is important to him in some it, way. It feels very Hunter Zolomon, who, if yeah. you do not read the yeah. comics. Hunter Zolomon is the reverse flash to Wally West, and his motivation, first of all, Hunter Zolomon vibrates through time, much as the reverse flash appears to be vibrating instead of just moving at super speed, and his motivation is that he wants the flash to become a better hero, so he puts him through these challenges and trials and tragedies to try and make him more capable of dealing with future threats. Something that really worries me about this is that, like, because we are fans and we know the Flash mythos, it's like we knew from the beginning that the yellow blurry guy was definitely reverse Flash because that's the reverse Flash. And then we knew when Harrison Wells starts being kind of weird and future knowledgey that he is probably related in somehow to the reverse Flash. But because we know that, we have that special knowledge, but maybe other viewers, they don't outright say this yellow guy is the reverse Flash. They don't say that Harrison Wells must definitely be the yellow guy because they don't make the connection that we make. So it really worries me that as we're watching it, we've got this all planned out and predicted because we know already, but they're just assuming that like regular people aren't going to know this. So let's just play it out the way it normally would, and then we'll just suffer with this predictable ending that we were expecting from the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, but I don't think that, you know, this is a superhero show. They're, you know, they're going into it. They're not going to do exactly the same as the comics necessarily, but they're going into it with these concepts and these ideas. And I don't think they're going to go just totally off the script to, to mess with people that know the mythos. And I want, to, I want to say also that the Aaron Flash writers have generally been very good at finding ways to mess with fans and give things that do have that satisfying reveal and do have that information where fans can see where it's going, but they still twist it in ways that make it feel unfamiliar. Like in, uh, in Arrow Season 1, where immediately you're introduced to Tommy Merlin, and you go, oh, okay, that guy is going to be the bad guy, obviously, and then you get hit with that huge wham reveal halfway through. Or Laurel Lance, you you're introduced to Laurel yeah. Lance, and like that's clearly Black Canary, yeah. and then turns you, out he's not. Then, you yeah. expected when you meet Laurel Lance, you think, oh, that's gonna be a fun, interesting character like Black Canary, and then bam, <laughs> huge twist. <laughs> She's but not fun or interesting. 
Okay, well, um, I think that's uh, all we really had planned talking about. Uh, we do want to talk, uh, we'll toss it over to Billy. I think, Billy, you had some some research you did on some interesting fan theories. Why don't all you right. tell hey, us about this? I have two big, crazy fan theories uh, that I am calling now for the rest of the show. Hang Number on. one, uh, in the comic books, Iris West is usually referred to as Barry Allen's lightning rod, who keeps him tethered emotionally and prevents him from running too fast and losing himself into the speed force. I think that in this universe, the lightning rod is Detective West, because they are having the nicest, sweetest, most tender moments I have ever seen, and I just want every episode to be them fucking forever. Uh, fan theory number two, Reverse Flash, secretly Superboy Prime. I'm calling it now. <laughs> Superboy Prime is in the Arrow universe. He is Reverse Flash. I, have I seen, would love that. I have seen a fan theory that there are actually two Reverse Flashes. That one is Harrison mm. Wells, and the other is Eddie Thawne. Yeah, and that would seen make sense. Both in the same episode, which what? I would, so, I would totally buy that. I would totally buy that. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna toss that out to the audience. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Tell us how we were wrong, when we were wrong, but also tell us what do you think Harrison Wells? Uh, what do you think Harrison Wells up to? Uh, do you think that you do you have a fan theory? Is it uh, two, three, four, seven reverse flashes? What are we gonna end up with? Uh, superheroes. What was that, Kyle? It's the Legion of Superheroes. It's gotta be. <laughs> <All right. laughs> reverse flash to save Superman. <laughs> Yeah, lawyers tell us that's not going to happen. Uh, anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for joining us on episode 22. Look forward to talking to us next week, episode 23, where we talk about the mid-season finale of Arrow. Thanks so much. From all of us here, take care. And that's a wrap for another episode of the Comic Book Showcase. Join us again live via chat or Twitter next week. Like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. And to learn more about today's topics, check out the Marvel and DC databases on Wikia the ultimate resources for comic book information anywhere.